In today's video, I'll go over how to merge columns in LibreOffice Calc. Here I have a sample table with names and addresses, and I'm working on a column of the full name. So this includes the first, middle, and last name columns combined into one. The easiest way to do this is to use formulas. One method is to use the ampersand symbol, and similarly, another way is to use the concatenate function. In this video, I'll also discuss briefly why using the Merge Cells button is not really the best way to combine columns. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. So let's go to Sheet 2, and I'll get started with using the formulas. In using the ampersand symbol, first I'll start the formula off by typing the equal sign. Then I'll click on the cell I want. I'll type in ampersand and then click the next cell, type ampersand again, and then click on the last cell. Now I'll press enter. So here it successfully combined the names for me. However, there's no space in between. So I'll just modify the formula to add the space. After the first ampersand, I'll type in double quotation, space, double quotation, then another ampersand. So this acts as I'm joining together cells A6 and a space followed by cell B6. Then I'll add in a space again by doing the double quotations with the ampersand after cell B6. And I'll press enter. So there we go. David, Will, and Brown is together in one cell and it reads pretty well. Now all I have to do is click and drag the fill down, release, and apply the formula for me in column I. With this formula, it works pretty well. And if I wanted to add punctuation or any other text in there, it's a very similar process by just using double quotations and ampersand signs to get the intended result. The main issue with this is I think it's not that easy to read, especially if the formula is very long. So now let's head to the second method using the concatenate function. So I'll go ahead and just delete and then start now with using the concatenate function. After typing in concat, I could press enter so that it fills in the rest of the function name for me. And in selecting the cells, it's very similar. So I clicked on A6. Now I'll type comma and select B6, type comma and select cell C6. And then I'll press enter. So similarly as before, it combined the columns for me, but I do need to add in the spaces again. So now I'll just do the double quotation with the space, not a comma. And then now also the same thing or after cell B6. There we go. And now I can apply the formula down. And I have the same result as before. Now for addresses, I could do the very same formulas. But of course, sometimes we want to include commas in the text. So I'll just show you how to do that with a formula. Let's say I want to add a comma before the last name, then all I have to do is within the double quote, I could do a comma or I could type in any other text that I'd like to include. Here I just press enter and we do see a comma here after the middle name and before the last name. So for addresses, you would do the same and just take a look at the result. You might have to shift the comma either before the empty space or after the empty space to make sure that the formatting looks fine. Now lastly, there is a merge cell button. This one is to merge and center, and this one is just to merge. What this does is it allows me to combine two cells into one, but it actually affects the structure as well. So here as a quick example, I'll just pick the first option and choose OK. Now we see cell E and F is actually one cell. When I select it together, it kind of spans both widths of the column. This is not really the intended effect necessarily. So that's why I prefer using formulas to just combine the data into one column. There is a way to unmerge 
which is usually to click on the icon again. So now we see Little Rock, Arkansas is in one cell and then in cell F, it's actually empty. I made a separate video on using the merge cell icon. So you could take a look at that video next. I also had a previous video on using the concatenate function. You can take a look at that as well. Thanks for watching and as always, stay nifty.